Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or bus. So today we are going to look at this gun right here, which is the Bull Armory Cleaver. And I'll kind of hold it like that for you so you can get a good look at it. This gun is obviously going to be based off of more like a Glock 19 platform. As a matter of fact, it does take Glock 19 magazines, it does come with two 15 round magazines, and um, it, it is really just a sharp looking gun. Now, obviously, when you take a look at it, it doesn't have the optic option for this particular model. However, they do offer some that do. Uh, check out their website if you're interested and take a look at them. But what you see right here is their entry model. This bad boy is 399 MSRP, but I have to tell you, uh, I originally said this is black nitride. It's not. It's black PVD coating, which is, in my opinion, a little bit better. does have nice steel sights on there, which is a big improvement from Glock, but these are also replaceable for or interchangeable with other Glock sights. So that's a huge plus. The trigger on this gun, ridiculous. It is probably... Um, leaps and bounds above anything that's going to come out of a Glock box, that's for sure. As a matter of fact, when you look at the trigger, the trigger's got a very nice smooth take up. Uh, it breaks very, very nicely and a very nice light um, reset in regards to it pushing forward. So it's very controllable and it's just a really short take up on that trigger. In my opinion, definitely a 10 out of 10 on this trigger. You can see it also has some undercuts in regards to the uh, the trigger guard here. This undercut obviously allows you to get your hand a little bit higher on the slide. And also the fact that you have this extended beaver tail, which makes a big improvement just to make sure your, your hand doesn't get caught in the slide, which is very common on some of the older Glocks, which some of you might know. Obviously, it has a stainless barrel, which you can see right here, and it actually protrudes out of the front here thanks to those really awesome cuts to the front. It also has stainless pins. So as a result, it is also dimpled, which I like because if you're trying to you know, punch these pins out, it just makes it easier to get a little bit more of a bite on the pin. Again, you also have your takedown lever, which is extended, which we're going to talk about that in a second, uh, which is also stainless, and also the ejector is stainless as well, as you guys can see. So it does have some laser etching here on the, on the actual barrel. Looks pretty nice. You can see it says cleaver, which is what this model is, and this is their compact version. And this gun is made out of Israel. So Bull Armory is a company out of Israel. It's been around since 1990. They make some pretty good products, very much so based on a CZ platform. Now they're entering the striker-fired market, and I've got to say they absolutely have a winner in regards to this. Again, the price point alone on this is $399 NMSRP, so likelihood of you finding these cheaper online is a lot greater in my opinion. Eventually, uh, hopefully you'll see more of these in the uh, the PVD coating. They did come out initially with the stainless slide, which some people like stainless. I'm not a huge stainless guy. I, I just don't like the look of it. However, the combination of the black with the stainless looks pretty sharp in my opinion. It actually looks really, really nice. Also, in regards to the ergonomics, the ergonomics, again, much more superior than anything Glock has to offer. As a matter of fact, when you look at the gun, you can see it's got directional, whatever you want to call these, pyramids. And you can see that they're a little bit lighter on the sides here. But in the back, you can see they are protruding quite considerably on the back strap. They actually go in different directions, the middle and the sides. And also the same thing for the front on the back strap. So when it comes to the bite of the gun, this thing is not going to slip out of your hands. As a matter of fact, it feels very reminiscent to an Archon Type B, um, only not as necessarily um, blocky, I guess. Uh, but very, very nice feeling firearm overall. One of the other things I noticed is serrations. While these serrations I was kind of iffy about when I looked at it first online, I got to tell you, super functional. They bite down very nicely. So if you're a press check guy or racking the slide from the rear guy, you're not going to have any issues doing that. It is very, very tactile regarding when you touch the slide. So you shouldn't see any slippage there at all whatsoever. I mean, overall, the gun looks nice. You got some, you know, pads, memory pads here for your fingers. And that's where we're going to talk about this right here. So... The overall shooting experience of the gun, which I did shoot already, 300 rounds through it, about 300 rounds. Excellent. It's excellent. Now, I did have four issues. Now, some might say, oh, four issues, that's the end of the gun. In my opinion, that's not necessarily the case because the issues I do not believe were gun or manufacturer created issues. I think there are user errors regarding how I was holding the firearm. Now, what I mean by that is that with these extended takedown levers, they protrude quite a bit considering the fact that, um, you know, obviously if you're going to carry over your, your hand over here, a lot of times people will automatically go to that spot right there. A lot of times for me, when I shoot a gun for the first time, I tend to clench a little bit closer. And as a result, my thumb was hitting this takedown lever right here, which in my opinion was causing the issue. Now, what was the issue? The issue was that the slide would not fully go back into battery. Now that happened only four times out of 300 rounds. So again, the consistency wasn't there for it to be a gun problem. The inconsistency of it meant to me that it was more of a user error. And what was happening was as I was pushing down on that and as the slide would reciprocate, 
you could, uh, I'm going to see if I can do that again. So what would happen is just that little bit of space right there. Um, and let's see if you can hear the click. As you hear that click, what was happening was that slide was not going back into battery. And honestly, I think it was because of the pressure I was putting on the takedown lever, which would not be unheard of in my opinion. Again, is that going to be what caused it? We're going to find out because I'm going to test this again and make sure that that is the cause. Now, if I cannot replicate it, knowing that I'm making sure that my thumb is actually moving a little bit further, then to me, that's going to resolve the issue. Um, I also have two additional guide rods with their springs. Uh, from Gen 3 Glocks, and I'm going to take those with me just to make sure that it's not a guide rod issue. Overall, because of it's being such an inconsistent problem, and also making the mental note at the time to kind of push your thumb up a little bit further, I could not replicate it consistently, and it wasn't happening consistently. Thus, in my opinion, it is probably user error with my big ginormous thumb. So just take that for what it's worth. Again, if you have any ideas, leave the comments down below. But again, I used 124 grain, 115 grain. And again, it wasn't consistent to be an ammunition issue. I was using the mags the mags and two other guns that I own, the Zev and the MR920. So I don't believe it was a mag issue. I do believe it was actually a thumb issue, which interestingly enough, with this extended, I was having the same exact issue until I adjusted my finger. So just keep that in mind. Um, overall though, the shooting experience is great. It is absolutely an accurate firearm. Very, very enjoyable to shoot it. Very low recoiling firearm. And the trigger again, like I said, is very smooth. No issues whatsoever regarding the trigger. And I got to say guys for a $400 entry level firearm from bull armory, this thing is, is it's pretty rocking, man. I'm not going to lie. It's just a very, very nice, solid firearm. The trigger is excellent on this gun. Very, very short reset. And I got to say it, it, in my opinion, is worth every dime. So I'd like to hear what you have to say. Leave those comments down below. Tell me what you think about Bull Armory because they are coming out with some really nice pistols. Hopefully I can get my hands on some more of these guns to see what they have to offer and then offer it all to you so you can see it. But again, overall, you know, I think there's a lot of components of this firearm that are 10 out of 10s. I think the overall rating for me would be a nine out of 10 just because of the four issues I had. Again, I'm gonna test it again. I'm gonna take this out again, probably not this weekend coming up, but probably the following weekend just to see if I can replicate it. And obviously if I can replicate it, I'll let you know either way. But overall, great looking firearm, great feeling firearm, and it does the job and it does it very well. So I hope you have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, everyone, freedom is never free.